Hey crafty friends, it's Amanda with Pear Blossom Press. Today I'm sharing a fun Secret Agent Father's Day card. I actually designed this card specifically for the Secret Agent set from Kindred Stamps. My dad is a huge spy novel fan, so I thought this would be fun to make for him. Um, and the card itself, the manila folder and the little insert, I printed up on my computer. And since I was typing it up and printing it up anyhow, I turned it into a PDF and I just put it on my website. You can download it for free and have fun with it. So let's take a look at what I used. Um, again, that's the Secret Agent stamp set from Kindred Stamps. I've already gone ahead and stamped it, colored it, and cut it out with my Scan and Cut. And then I used this stencil also from Kindred Stamps. Um, I believe it's retired. If it's not, I'll link to it, but you can use any kind of radiant stencil. For the manila folder, you're gonna print the front side and then the back side. And then the little insert will get printed on just regular white copy paper. The manila folder, just grab anything that's kind of close to cream colored cardstock and that'll work. Um, and notice that the little insert has um, a pop or a dad version. So whichever works best for you. I did go ahead and print it out on copy paper first and just try it out uh, because I wanted to make sure of uh, a couple different measurements. Um, I would recommend doing the same thing. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I printed the, the um, manila folder twice and uh, like on one side and then I rotated it and printed it again. So um, I've got two on that page. And then um, what I did was cut it in half so that I, you know, separated the two. And then I took half an inch off of the right side and that's gonna give me um, an eight inch piece of paper, um, eight by five and a half. And I'm just gonna score it at four and a quarter like we normally do. But then when I fold it up, you'll see that the front of the card is half an inch shorter or less wide than the back of the card. And so this will still fit in a regular standard envelope. And what I'm doing here is I've got my envelope punch board and I'm just kind of, um, I'm just using the, the punch there to kind of give me the, um, the little edge that you get on a manila folder, the, the tab that sticks up. And the first time I, I did it where I, I tried it with my copy paper, I was a little too aggressive. So this time I'm being less aggressive and then just kind of chopping a little bit more at a time, um, kind of biting a little more out of it. Once I have like a tab that I'm happy with, I can cut away the rest. And I'm just lining it up in my trimmer. I didn't get it quite um, low enough there, so I just came back and edged a little bit more out. And then when I was um, using the punch board, when you punch kind of right next to each other, you know, one punch and then another one right next to it, um, sometimes it gets a little dirty. So I cleaned it up with my scissors there. And now we've got a manila folder. I want to add a little bit of ink blending. That's where my stencil comes in. So I grab my character, just kind of line him up where I want him to end up being on the card. And then I can put the, the stencil sort of the, the center, that little radiant um, pinpoint that's in the center there. I want to put that underneath where his head will be. And then I grabbed my new speckled egg distress oxide ink and um, a little brush. These are the iCrafter brushes. I love these because they're color coded. Um, these are great for small areas, stenciled areas. And I'm just going to go around the circle. Um, I'm not bringing it out too far, just a little bit. And I'm not going over the edge onto the back where it says Mission Father's Day. Um, I'm, I'm keeping it all on the front of the card there. And then when we peel it back, we can see how he'll sit there. Now I want to add a little bit of stamping to the front as well. So I'm going to kind of line it up, put my character in place, and then I'll grab the confidential and the top secret stamps from the set. And then I'm just going to kind of put them in place here and pick them up with my Misty. And this time I'm going to use Festive Berries. It's a nice bright red ink. And this is again Distress Oxide. So I'll stamp it. And I actually stamped it twice. This is the first time I've used these stamps. So um, I didn't condition them first, so I ended up stamping them twice. But that gives us a nice pop of color on the front there. And then we can work on the inside. So I ended up trimming this down 
Um, and like I said, at the, you get both options, the AKA dad or AKA pop. Um, since I was printing this out myself, I actually typed out my dad's name <laughs> and then uh, redacted it with washi tape. Um, but I'm trimming it out. It's going to end up being three and a half inches wide by five and one eighth inch tall. You have some wiggle room in either direction. Um, so don't, don't worry if you don't get it exactly there, but that's what I trimmed mine out to. And then I want to go ahead and stamp that martini in the circle up at the top. And then we'll also put top secret up there, but they're going to be in two different colors. So I'll stamp one at a time. First the martini and I'll just go ahead and line him up. I love this set. It's, it's so much fun. Um, so I'll grab that and then I'm going to use that speckled egg ink again. Do you guys have this yet? I love this color. It's fabulous. So I went ahead and stamped it in the circle there and then I'll switch out my stamp to the top secret and I'm putting it at an angle just um, so it looks like it was stamped there because it's stamped there. <laughs> Um, so stamping this with the red, the festive berries again, I find that it's easy if I use a, a cloth or my sleeve, something to help glide along the, the top of the misty door there. And then we're all set, ready to put it together. I'm going to use two of the regular size gold brads, not mini brads, but the, the full size ones that we used to use in school. And I'm just going to grab a pencil and I'm going to use my grid and kind of mark one inch um, in from the left and the right. And I'd say I'm maybe a quarter of an inch down. Now I can go ahead and line it up in the manila folder again, and then I'll just use an eighth inch hole punch and punch right through both the, um, the little insert and the back of the manila folder. Then I can go ahead and insert the brads and open them up. You want to make sure that you open them up and they're not um, sticking up or, or above the top of the card there. And then we have an area to sign. And I thought it would be fun to grab a big paper clip and kind of hold the card closed, but mostly just one more decorative element there. And then I want to attach my spy with an action wobbler. And if you haven't seen these before, they're really cool. They're little springs. They, they compress down flat but then um, they pop up when it's out of the envelope and you can um, kind of wiggle the character back and forth. And I find it's easier to attach the, the spring to my character first, and then I can peel off the release paper for the other side and I'll use my tweezers. And you see how I've, I've got the spring in place there and it'll collapse. Um, I'll use my tweezers to kind of hold them in place and line them up and then just press him down and he's done. Isn't that fun? Okay, so let's take a, a look at the finished card. I thought this turned out really fun and it's got a fun combination of stamping, a little bit of ink blending, some coloring, but all in all this card comes together really quickly because the uh, printer does half the work for you. And uh, there's a funny little pun inside. You put the neato in incognito. <laughs> um, like I said, I'll have a link to the uh, PDF download um, and my blog uh, down below and the products that I used. If you're new to my channel, feel free to click subscribe and ring that bell. If you like today's video, give me a thumbs up and take a look at a few more videos. As always, my friend, thanks for watching.